to browse I want to do this off camera because <laughs> they take forever I will do a video on how I draw these on I'll be right back and the brows are on <laughs> why do they take so long I use my very broken Anastasia brow Wiz pencil in the shade medium brown I got I have dark brown too I think I bought it by accident because I forgot what color I had and I brushed with their also and oh there it is it's like rubbing off their number 12 brush I love it with the spoolie in the end so it brushes out the product good old Mac fix plus let's do the eyes urban decay's enigma eyeshadow primer I'm just gonna take that on my lid use my finger to pat what I like to do is use a loose powder, and I'll just use the one that I use on my face to set uh, the area from crease to brow bone. And I usually go in with a neutral color anyway, but just extra assistance because when it comes to blending, you need all the help you can get. So why not just pack it on there? Crease to brow and out, yeah? Because that's where we're also putting eyeshadow and you want it to blend well. For today's eye look, we are using Too Faced Semi Chocolate Bar Palette. I love this palette. I just love the concept of it. I just love, I just love palettes. Going in with a, hold on one second, Luxie. 230 brush with the coconut cream shade. I'm just taking that again, crease the brow bone. And I know we already put loose powder on there, but this is more of a highlighting shade. So getting that to the top part of the brow, I think, is really important. And especially the crease. We gotta get that crease set. Morphe E27 is a uh, crease fluffy brush and going into the shade mousse just in the crease area taking it all over this brush it's so soft and it really gets in that eye space well and this is going to be our transition shade once we have that down I'm taking a crease tapered brush. This is the Smith 232 brush. I love it because it's tapered and it really gets in that part of the eye. And I'm going in with truffled. Just the outer portion of my crease. And I'm going in with super light pressure and that is key when creating a halo eye or any eye look. Tapping off the excess and then putting it on the inner corner. And this is how you create that halo eye because you have your defining color coming in as brackets around the eyes. And you can use any color. I'm just, I just happen to use this from this palette. Because I think it's a, it's a darker enough shade, but it's not too harsh. There is a black shade in here, but I will use that probably for an evening look or a, a performing look. This is so weird doing my makeup, but not in front of my bathroom mirror. And I'm taking circular motions, and I'm keeping my eye open so I can still see the crease area and know where the color is going. Just inside of the troubled shade, I'm going in with frosting. Same brush, but like just the inside of where we put truffled. 
so it gives some sheen making sure you hit inner and outer corner and I have to be very soft when going around the out corner of my eye because it will water like a mother now back to our crease fluffy brush going into the shade peanut butter when going in with halo looks I like to use a warm color to buff out any harsh lines so just at the top of that edge where the crease color is, I lightly sweep in the peanut butter shade. And then I take it out and start to create this point. And this is where the loose powder comes in handy. Since it's already been laid down, it makes any shadow that you put on this area of your face easy to blend and yes we're gonna be here for a while now for the lid I love these metallic shades on this palette so we're gonna go in with the shade caramel taking that on a Smith 256 brush and tapping it in there, but then going in with Fix Plus. Just a couple of spritzes. And that's gonna give it that extra metallic finish. Cause who doesn't want that? Just on the middle of the lid. Look at that gold. See, you don't have to do this but I think, why not? It's such a beautiful shade. Don't you want to see it? If you find that the truffle shade is fading, then you could also... And back to where we started. So I just put in that metallic caramel shade. Went in with this guy. And if you want, you can go back with your Smith brush into the truffle shade right here and just kind of add in more color if you like and a trick I like to use is to take the point right on the outer lid and pack in the color and that way it shapes right into that space so when you blend everything out it blends out into that really nice point if you want I find that I prefer just a diffused point angle to my eye looks. The key to any eye look is the blending. Back into the peanut butter shade, going into the tops and just diffusing. That would help if you were in frame, Alicia. To smoke out the bottom lash line a little more, I'm taking a Morphe E17 brush. I love this because it's dome shaped and really soft, so very gentle on the on the lash line and eye area in general. Going back, I'm actually going to mix mixed. I'm going to mix truffled and frosting. And just very carefully take it along the lash line. This is all very new to me as many makeup tutorials as I've seen nothing is as hard as this right here taking the butter pecan shade a very nice shimmery shade I'm just using my pinky to place that shade on the corner inner corner of my eye and that really gives the overall eye look some pop if you want more shine, you could also take that butter pecan color. I'm using my finger as well. And just to the middle of the lid. Whoa, look at that. It's all about the layering, you guys. That's why I love palettes, because it's there for you to use. To use all the colors and just slap them on one by one. Because that really adds dimension to the overall eye look. Don't feel like you're 
packing it on too hard you can never really pack it on too hard for with eyeshadow because of all the blending you're doing it's going to diffuse out so you really got to pack the pigment on there so you actually have something left to show you know what i mean now finally off to eyeliner this is a charlotte tilbury rock and coal eye pencil in barbarella brown and i'm just taking it along the lash line and I'm covering myself. Whoa, you guys, I needed to do that off camera. I need to learn how to do eyeliner while on camera because I can't do it right now. I'm taking a, just a pointed pencil brush. This one's from Kevin Aquan. It doesn't have a number on it, but it's just a very fine tipped brush. And I'm just using that to diffuse the line I already sketched taking my I believe this is my yes my Shiseido eye curler eyelash curler eye curler mm. and clamping down now on to my favorite mascara the waterproof better than sex mascara I was never a fan of waterproof mascara I felt like it dried out my eyes and just made my lashes look bleh. Although it didn't receive great reviews, it works on me, so it's a keeper in this makeup bag. The root and then wiggle my way to the tip. If you wanted to add false eyelashes, I would suggest the good old Ardell Denny Wispies or the full-on Wispies. I really appreciate you guys being so supportive of me coming, me returning from my YouTube hiatus is really intimidating. I mean, these YouTube videos nowadays, I mean, full on production lights, soft boxes, microphones, backdrops. I mean, it's crazy. So I'm just here trying to survive, putting this mascara on. I don't know, man. Last but not least, lips combining two liquid lipstick colors both from Too Faced the melted mattes in cool girl and child star lining with max oak pencil where are you i like to go in with the liquid lipstick first and then i refine with the liner. So taking Cool Girl first and just starting at the outside edges. Corners rather. Then we move in with Child Star which is a lighter shade, more like a, a nude. And then I take it to the center. Oh that was a little too much. Too much nude! To combine going in with Mac Oak pencil just to clean up the edges and that's the finished look thank you so much for stopping by thank you so much for hanging in there I know it's super long I always have a ton to say they will get shorter, I think, because this was my first makeup tutorial. I just wanted to go through the details. And as we go on and you learn my routine, I'll leave out less details. If there are any looks you want to see or any questions that you have, please let me know down in the description box. I will also include all products and brushes used in this video. And thank you for those that left their favorite natural hair products in my last video. I'll leave the link on here. And I will get to that this week. And I'm going to find those products and I'm going to use them. And we are going to chat about how we like them. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you soon.